Hey, welcome back. I hope everybody's having a great Tuesday. And thank you so much for joining me talking all things Masters of the Universe. Today on the channel, guys, we're going to be doing a review and this time a full unboxing of the Wave 3 figure of Casey Jones, the one man weapons rack. But first, we'll do a little recap of the figure and the packaging. We'll look at all the items he comes with, the beautiful artwork he comes with as well from the back of the packaging. Uh, then we'll do a full unboxing and go from there. Now, I wish I could do a full comparison to some of the two other Casey Jones, but unfortunately, I don't have any other versions of Casey Jones. As because you know, if you don't know, um, this is my, my very first Casey Jones. I never collected the Turtles line. I, I'm a big fan of the Turtles, um, but I never like have collected until now um, any versions of the Turtles. Like you know, so this is my first ever Casey Jones. All right, so hopefully this will be a, a great review. All right, of course you have He-Man and Leo in the top corners right there. We have the Turtles of Grayskull. You have Casey Jones, the One Man Weapons Rack right there. And there's old Casey Jones right there in the packaging. Looks like he comes with a variety of great weapons and really cool items. Looks like he comes with like a duffel bag. You guys see some say, iconic uh, weapons from, you know, vintage He-Man figures. From the spear to a sword. You can see you have uh, Jitsu's like hand right here. Alright. You have Master Universe logo here in the corner. And the Ninja Turtles logo on the front of the packaging. Very, very cool. Of course, you get those vintage, I guess, mutated, oozed rocks around the name of Casey Jones in terms of Gray Skull. The purple green rocks instead of the red rocks we see all in the uh, classic uh, vintage line of the Origins line. Very, very cool. All right. Goes back around. Some really amazing artwork right there of him taking on Mouse Jaw. Very, very cool. You have Sorceress in the background, the actual Sorceress, alright. I'm curious if we will get a version of her in the Turtles of Grayskull line. Right, there's all his, uh, he comes with an axe, with a sword, and a hammer. Of course, the cross cell of Wave 3, and we have already unboxed Tila and Skeletor. And tomorrow, we'll finish up Wave 3 of unboxing Michelangelo. And then we'll compare Mikey with all the other uh, turtles, with his, with his brothers. All right. Very, very cool. Alright, this is here. Let's read, let's read this here. Alright, back on Earth, Casey Jones fights baddies as a hockey mass vigilante using whatever sports gear he can fit into his bag. Now he's on Naturnia. He's loaded up with Castle Grayskull's best battle equipment to join the fight against Krang. And Skeletor. Very, very cool. Right there. Alright, All right, flip it back around. Alright, without further ado, let's go ahead and box Casey Jones here. Alright. My like I said, my very first ever Casey Jones. Alright. Right there. Of course, the comic has been the same comics that we've seen before. You know, you know, with this wave here. A little recap once again. You know, like, there's a Casey right there. Great. There's April right there. I can't wait to get April. Like I said. Very all right. Great read as always. Great colorful. Artwork, and you know, do you guys um, keep your comics? Let me know in the comments below. Right. Of course, the cross sell once again um, of all the figures of Wave Three. All right, and here is, of course, the diagram that shows all the removable parts with the figure safely. All right. Right, so he comes with an extra little baggie of weapons here. Wow. Okay. Let's go ahead and rip this open here. Of course, he has that like that jitsu uh, hand right here, karate chopping hand right here. Very cool. Uh, comes with uh, an axe. 
Now this axe looks like the same axe that we just got with Krang. Okay, you can see the little, 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 um, so you can actually, I guess, put him in his hand. I don't know. So if you wish to change out the axe with Krang, or I guess, you know, insert it into, I guess, Casey Jones' um, hand, you can do that. And you can see right there, you can see the peg right there. Very interesting. All right. You get this, looks like Shao Kahn's, like, you know, Mortal Kombat hammer here. Get the big skull, the skull right there. Alright, what else we got here? Right. Now, here is the figure itself. There he is in the packaging. Comes with the, you know, the same spear we've seen with um, Whiplash to, like, Jitsu Sword. And of course, his iconic, Casey Doe's iconic uh, hockey stick and duffel bag right here. Alright, so give me one minute, guys. I'm going to go ahead and get him fully unboxed, and we'll go from there. Alright. All right, so here's Casey Jones fully out of the packaging right there. It was really, really good. All right, and you see the plug right there, which I do believe you can plug in, I think. Make sure I'm doing this right here. There you go. He plugs in the duffel bag right there. Now, the one thing um, in, in my original review of Casey Jones, I was curious to see if the mask, which is that, like, that... Ram Man-esque mask right there can be removed in it. Yes, it can. So there is Casey Jones without the mask on right there. It looks good. So there we go. You can put the mask on or mask off. I don't know how I'm going. I'm probably going to display him with the mask on. But, you know, this is still a great look right here, you know, with Casey. If you wish to go that route, if you wanted to. Of course, this, this hammer can go in, and you got the spear right there. First, there is that Jitsu sword. Now, that the hand, I guess, goes, it fits into the his hand right here. All right. So, it does. It's a little snug, but it does work. All right, there. So, there he is. The one thing I'm, I'm curious about is with all the weapons, you know, and the duffel bag, will it be too heavy? See how it's, it's like coming, like he's like falling backwards because I'm trying to fit. There you go. I think there you go. All right, it works. All right. Of course, there's his iconic um, um, hockey stick. Very cool. Um, very sharp. You know, this is not flexible, which I'm kind of concerned about. So be very careful. So this is a very sharp uh, plastic here. The these these. These spikes here, they're not like flexible, okay? They're... So be very careful, okay? I believe the the this goes here, I believe. I think it's snapped into here on the side here. It's like that. So it snaps into place right there on the side of his duffel bag right here. Now I'm curious if you wish to remove his hand, you know, make sure when you just saw that when you do that, make sure there's no weapons in this duffel bag. But I guess you know you can plug in this this axe right here in his hand. All right. So yeah, I guess you got you know some some magic I guess to allow him to remove his hand, so you can have the axe. Plug into his, his arm right there, which is kind of weird. Um, put the mask back on. Oops, I gotta make sure I do this right because I'm afraid, like, all the you know, putting all the weapons into him, which is cool. I mean, there's a lot going on here with Casey Jones here. I mean, let's see if I can get him standing properly. But, you know, for, for being my very first Casey Jones ever in my collection, you know, like I said, this is my, oops, as you can see, you know, that's not good. I don't like that. I don't like the fact that, you know, you got to, you know, just be very careful, you know, trying to display him because of all the weight of the weapons of, you know, in, the, in this duffel bag here, you know, will cause him to topple over. 
All right, so just, you know, just be careful about that. See if it works now. I'm going to just make sure it doesn't fall over. Yep, see? So, what, however you wish you to display him, you know, is, is you know, I'm just going to stand him like, nah. Turn it off right there. Now, besides, of course, you know, you know, the weapons, you know, just like I said, just be very careful, you know, how you, you know, you know, because you're gonna have some problems. You might have to get like a like a stand to the plug in, you know, you know the bat, you know, on the shoes right there to give you that extra uh, secure, you know, security of the, of the figure. Um, just be careful, you know, because like I said, the weight is all in the back right there, and you will topple backwards. Um, but I like the fact that the mask can be removed. All right, this Ram Man mask. I like the weapon. Don't do me wrong. The the, the weapons, you know, variety of weapons look great. I like the bag. It looks really good. All right, I even like the look of Casey Jones. You know, I like. And now the weird thing about, like I said, is the uh, the the backs right here, which you can can plug in into his hand. You know, so if you wish to, you know, change out this axe to give, you know, with that crane. Uh, chain and ball, you can do that as well, or or even Crane's axe if you want to do that, and vice versa. You know, if you want to give Crane um, uh, this axe instead of the one he came with, you can do that and mix and match. All right, and the, you know, the, and the glove here, you know, is you know, it fits in very nicely. All right, it's, it's flexible, it looks really good. I like the Ram Man. I mean, sorry, the Man at Arms um, shin guard right here. I like the color, I like the green and, and the white boots. Great face sculpt right there of Casey right there. You got the shoulder guard here of the turtles low, you know. And, and the I do like the armor here. It looks great. And if you wish, you know, by just removing the armor and the shin guard, you can give yourself, you know, a, a vintage origins version of, of Casey Jones. You know, if you want to go that route. If you, if you want to kind of remove all the Eternia, Master Universe armor and shouldn't you know you can you know like i said you, you know have a, your own version you know or a different another version of casey jones you know in turtles it would have been nice too if they would have came with um fisto's fist as well but you know this is you know it's, 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 it's flexible I'm going to take these out because I know they're going to fall out. So, take this off. Like I said, I'm kind of weird. It's kind of weird. It comes with a peg right here. Let's put his hand, his normal hand, back in. Let's try some other weapons here. Let's try him with the, uh, the hammer. If you want to go that route, there he is with the hammer. And like I said, it reminds me of, of Shao Kahn in Mortal Kombat. Right there. So he comes with one closed hand and one open hand, and of course, this is for the uh, you know the uh, jitsu uh, glove here, uh, karate chop glove, I guess you could call it, right there. So he can only like hold on to one weapon at a time, unfortunately, not two weapons. Now if you can find another He-Man figure, of course, of Origins that does have two grouping hands. You can give him two weapons to hold on. I mean, that's the beauty of Origins. But there he is with. That rip whiplash, uh, you know, spear, right there. Now we cannot forget, you know, before we get too far farther into the video, we got to do his iconic, you know, um, hockey stick. All right. I think I'm see if we can get it. This. All right. Oh, there we go. So there we go. There's his hockey stick right there. Look. Like I said, like I'm very surprised about this, about the fact that these are not. Like like um, rubber, they're they're actually sharp um, plastic. All right, but cool. What else we got here? And of course, and finally we have the sword that we've that we've seen a lot of with a lot of great figures. And also, you could also use the weapons from Grayskull to Snake Mountain if you wish to go that route. You know, there's a variety of you know 
of however you wish to, you know, display, you know, Casey with some great weapons, you know. And the, and the backpack fits nice and secure right there. The back of him. Finally, you know, a figure that has, uh, you know, the pegs like we've seen with, you know, with Skeletor and, and Tila, you know, in Merman, you know, we have, like, no use for those pegs. But, I, like, but I guess with Origins, you can mix and match. You can, you know, you know, create some really cool figures in, in the line here. A great place to secure them, too. Now, let's see the axe can go right there. We have this, the hammer and his... Oops. And the spear... All fit nicely in, in his back of him. Now, fortunately, like with with all the weapons here, I can guarantee you, if I tried to, unless I don't have a, unless I, had, if I had a stand right now, it'd be a little bit more secure. But once I don't, I know for a fact that if I tried to stand him up right now with all these weapons behind him, um, he's gonna topple over because he's so top heavy in the back. So I'm just gonna keep him in hand, you know, with this review here. But there you go. There is a look at Casey Jones. A great figure, and I like, and I do like the fact that the mask can be removed. That's a nice touch. All right, I think I'm gonna display him like this. And of course, the head can be popped off. You know what? I hope I, I do this right. Yep, the head can be popped off. So if you wish to put He-Man's head on there or anybody's head on 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 the uh, of Casey Jones here, mix and match and create your own very really unique, you know, Eternia Master Universe figure from Origins. You can do that. But let me know in the comments below what do you think of Casey Jones. I think, I mean, he's, he's pretty cool. I like this, you know. So if I can stand right behind on the, uh, there you go. But there you go. And each figure, in like from the origins, are 5.5 in scale. You can mix and match. You can, like I said, you can pop your arms up, pop the hands up. Fully articulated, like all Origins figures. Alright, I'd like to take the time now, of course, to thank my subscribers. If you made it this far in the video and have not subscribed, please subscribe, guys. I love talking with you guys. All things Masters of the Universe, like the Turtles of the Grey Skull line here. And I do, and I, and I wish I had some more Casey Jones. You know, this is my, like I said, this is my my first um collection of the turtles ever you know in my life for any anybody who's new to my channel and thank you for watching i hope you will subscribe like I, you know i told you know the story i'm being very quick and i know I'm, I'm repeating myself and i apologize but i know this is a brand that i absolutely love i watched all the movies all the cartoons but i never got into the toy line because i was more into um like marvel and you know and like super like um superhero you know during the time of the, of the turtles so i never really got into you know th this incredible brand here so if you are a big ninja turtles fan i'm sure this is a figure that you must you know must have because this because casey is a very cool figure here and i'm looking forward to you know maybe getting another casey jones down the road so uh, like i said th this is a great figure uh, he has a lot of great weapons here all right very very cool all right. All right. Well, of course, always hit that like button. And thank you for doing that, too, guys. It helps my channel to get out there to grow. For more people who love this, you know, amazing product like we do, like you know, like from Origins, to watch my videos and hopefully subscribe as well. So hitting that like button, thank you so much for doing that. It, it, it means a lot. Thank you so much. And hit that notification bell when you know I upload new videos. And tomorrow we're going to be finally unboxing Michelangelo. From the Turtles of Grey Skull line, and then we'll compare him uh, to his four his other brothers, his other brothers. All right, and you know, and see, and I'll give you you know my ranking of who I like the most and who I don't like the least. But they're all great figures; they're amazing figures. And now with you know all these figures have now been unboxed, I can give you my true rankings of these figures. You know, um, so I hope you will stay tuned uh, and come back tomorrow for that. So thank you for joining me. All right. Or share this video who has a passion and a love for collecting all things Masters of the Universe, like the Turtles of Grey Skull line here, with the Vintage Origins line, to the Cartoon Collection, to the Masters of the WWE Universe, which is another great crossover event where we saw the WWE superstars in the world of Turnia. Alright, kind of like, like the Godfather, 
one of the first Origins figures to come out. We have Masterverse, uh, CGI. I mean, some great brands there. We have 80s to Classics to Super 7 to 2000X to Princess of Power. You know, to Sun Man. To Funko Pops to Mond Mondo. So, I hope everybody has a great Tuesday. And I'll see you guys on Wednesday. Take care. And have a good one.